Las Vegas, Nevada for CES, but one of the treats that we get to have here is to check out one of the newer cars that in this case I've never seen before in person. I've heard a lot about it. I did a video before that, but this is a light year one. This is a science project turn a car company. So you can't think of a better story than a bunch of kids who are into science, who are into physics, figure out how to get the solar panels and the solar cells to power this beautiful car. Uh, now, you, the, the first prototype did not look as beautiful as this one is, but as they started getting funding, as they started uh, uh, refining this car, uh, it's a former Pininfarina designer who's actually designed this car, that's why it looks absolutely amazing. And uh, we now get to see it. I gotta tell you, this is actually a pretty good prototype. A lot of uh, a lot of the stuff is 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 already figured out inside. Um, we got to sit in it and ride in it just a little bit, but. Here, you know, every time I see a new car, a new car company, and I know you guys ask a lot, well, how is this different from everybody else? Well, this is actually pretty different. What they try to do with this car is they try to uh, figure out how to how to make sure that the, they don't need to have a large battery so the car is not too heavy. This is only a 60 kilowatt battery, but this car can go seven, eight hundred miles on one charge. As a matter of fact, the designers are trying to uh, kind of uh, use the concept of charging this car only once a month. If you do some average driving, then you just have to charge it once a month, which is pretty cool because a lot of this energy is gathered by the solar panels. I don't know if you can see, we can get closer to this car. You will see that these, this, this hood of the car, the roof of the car, and let's come all the way across and pretty much the back of the car is all little tiny solar panels that you see in there and they figured out how to get a quite a good number of energy you can charge this car 20 30 extra miles per day with the good weather which we actually do have right now in uh, las vegas nevada very similar to what we have in sacramento california um, even though it's winter so a lot of this energy is just gathered as this car is parked or driving. Uh, I know other companies have tried this. Fisker Karma tried this, uh, Toyota Prius tried this. Well, Toyota Prius tried a lot of things, but it's just, it didn't really work as well as these guys. And so there are two keys, right? Gathering energy, but also not using as much of it. At the same time, it is beautiful. Uh, I mean, this is a premium version. It's gonna start at about $135,000 or so, but they are definitely trying to get this car into mass production and lower the price once they're gonna start getting uh, uh, you know obviously not only just some funding starting to actually manufacture this car let me check it out like inside it's also really really beautiful now before we get inside just want to make sure that you guys know that uh, uh, this video uh, and this channel is sponsored by Byton one of the other startups and uh, if you don't have a Byton reservation just yet you should definitely go to the description of this video reserve one really quick it takes about only a minute of your time um, has zero dollars this is the only car you can reserve for zero dollars down so go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today all right so back to the light year one um, if you can just try to see uh, this is so much sun today guys so we're gonna have to like change uh, some of the camera settings but it's really beautiful inside uh, the the beautiful um, finish from the um, with the wood and just the steering wheel also the wood accent on that is just looks beautiful I don't know if you can um, get the full sort of idea from just uh, just looking at the camera but oh man it's just I, it also kind of feels that it is a collaboration between the technology and earth <laughs> essentially because this car is powered by by sun which is which we get we get a lot of this here in california um, they've developed this car in netherlands uh, where the weather is not as sunny so they were kind of actually they told us they're quite excited to be here in california and nevada uh, they're going to california next actually uh, to uh, <laughs> to to test this car out with a lot of sun and right now you're looking at the side mirror cameras just like audi e-tron has and a honda uh, honda uh, e has um, I, I like the way they did it, uh, but again, I'm not really sure if I'm digging the whole, you know, how low it is here. Uh, I, I would rather have this monitor here, but 
I'm sure this is something that they can either polish out or 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 maybe change the position in the future. Obviously, uh, the biggest priority right now is the technology. They're always trying, you know, obviously trying to raise some money for this car to uh, to go to the market. They're looking to start delivering this cars to their first customers. It's going to be a relatively small, exclusive run next year by the end of the next year so this is not again this is not one of those cars that maybe five six years uh, they're collaborating with other manufacturers to do that and i'm excited for them so uh again i actually we didn't plan to to cover this car to see yes we have some other things that by the way if you haven't subscribed to this channel this would be actually a good time to do so there is a subscribe button at the bottom of this video of course and don't forget the bell notification icon if you don't want to miss all of this cool stuff that we're here at ces and many other shows that we go through uh throughout the year um uh, there will be some interesting exclusive uh, uh exclusive content um, i interviewed uh, their ceo earlier today we're going to put it on the channel in the next few weeks so stay tuned for that but we didn't know they were going to be here we just like we literally met them here in the middle of the empty parking lot where they just kind of uh, uh letting some of us <laughs> yeah it's a it's a las vegas parking lot um they're letting some of us hang out here and check out the car again there's i wouldn't have had any other opportunities to see this car in person so i am glad i got to do this uh, um let me know in the comment section uh, what do you guys think about this do you really think that the future of technology for charging is not actually charging the car ever having to worry about it and just having the car drive around and get it from the sun which is blinding me right now um, of course there's uh, there's another argument that you know what if i do live in netherlands when these guys live <laughs> or somewhere we don't have that much sun um, and obviously the technology will have to catch up to that overall electric car technology is tougher to to not only develop for but also use uh, in 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 colder areas with less sun with with colder temperatures but i you know this i i, I did not believe that, that that this can be possible in the next few years but it might be you know solar panels on the car uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged